Okay, loosen the camshaft sprocket bolt while holding the primary fixed sheave with a rotor holding tool, which I don't have. So I'm gonna use the impact wrench to see if I can break it without having this whole thing spin on me. Uh, that looks like a 12 millimeter. Oh, I got it. Whew. I was, I'm nervous. I was nervous, dude. I didn't want to hit it too hard. Remove the bolt. There's the plate. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. To try to take the chain off the sprocket. Okay, there's the sprocket. I have the chain, and I'm gonna zip tie this bitch right now. So, timing chain, we got a wire around it. Step seven, remove the cylinder head. Tip, loosen the nuts in the proper sequence as shown. Loosen each nut half a turn at a time. After all the nuts are fully loosened, remove them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two is a five millimeter, five millimeter Allen wrench. And half a turn each one, so I'm just cracking them right now. Half a turn, one, two, this is what? Another 12? One, two, three. Half a turn, one, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Five, six. Half a turn each one. Loosen the nuts in the proper sequence as shown. Loosen each nut half a turn at a time. After all the nuts are fully loosened, remove them. Half a turn each one. Dynamo takes off the bolts and we just take off the cylinder head. Nice, it's like kind of loose. I don't even have to whack it, but in the video, he says that sometimes you might have to whack it. Um, actually, it's coming off pretty easily. And then, yes, does that side have them? No, this side has two of these little spacers. There's one right here. And there's another one right there. I don't know how I'm gonna get that guy out. But I think I should've just ordered new ones. Hey guys, just a quick note, if you're replacing your old cylinder head with a brand new cylinder head, a new brand new setup, don't forget to go ahead and undo this nut right here, it's probably an Allen wrench, 5mm bolt, and take off this cam locking plate. You're going to go ahead and put this cam locking plate onto your new cylinder head after putting installing the camshaft and bolting it down. So if you're replacing the old cylinder head with a brand new one, don't forget to take off this bolt, this locking plate, and install it on your new cylinder head. Okay, so continuing with Dynamo USA's video, uh, he takes a rubber mallet, uh, which you may or may not use, oh, to smack this a couple times just to loosen up the paper gasket and take off the piston cylinder. Okay, I felt the crack. Why did I take my gloves off? I have no idea.
Um, let me, oh, I'm gonna wrap this chain up just cause I don't want to get dirt and grime on this thing. Okay, I bought a little pick. So I can go ahead and he talks about, you can watch the video, clips in the description, links in the description. But he talks about there's this little opening that you got to swing around and uh, he does a really good job about zooming in and zooming out and stuff. So you can just watch this video. Yeah. Okay, okay. So here's the piston. And there is a little section where there's a hole in the piston ring. And he says you want to spin that around until you get to the little opening right there. Okay, so I did the the first one pretty fine, but it's, here's the piston pin clip. It's almost a complete circle. There's the gap. So what you want to do is I just went ahead to the ace and bought a little pick just like he has. And you want to go ahead and swing that around and you're going to have to use the pick and move the piston ring clip to where this little groove is at right here. And then you can use that notch to go ahead and get and pry it out. And he says, go ahead and use new piston pin clips so I don't have to try to be gentle and save it. We're just going to go ahead and use new ones. So I got those out. After that, you got to get the piston pin itself out and th this one just came right out i got lucky it came right out in the video he has trouble with his it does have oil on it it's kind of hard to get wiggling the piston back and forth and boom i took the piston off i got a new piston coming in a bigger piston with the bigger cylinder head and i think i saw a piston ring clip in there and a piston pin so we got that out so I'm gonna put those over here because we're not going to use them again and let's go on to the next step Subject.